Yeah, I just got the cinematic fract one. Okay. Hey, look, fuck. Two bombs for what it was. Oh, shit. Hang on. I'm, hang on, I accidentally screwed up, and now I'm going back through it. Hang on. No, I, sc I scrolled up and I went back through the little cinematic. I'm an idiot. Yeah. It looked far too bomb as what it was. Act Gates and Jenner tend to do that. This one was especially red bricks, black rod iron, and gray blaster assembled into a, into a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. I wondered if it looked like a gate for who should look like, but couldn't really decide. Probably no. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about that gate for far, for too long, but I entered through it with a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good. Moving forward felt good. I walked towards the main building of Yamaku. Yamaku, huh? Yama Yamaku, shut up. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Yamaku Academy with his brick pace. Yamaku, as my parents are taking are taking my stuff to the dorms. Oh, be someone waiting for me. The grounds are incredibly lush, filled with green. Doesn't feel like- Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to think about it under my hand. <clears throat> okay, back to think. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have. More like a park, with a clean walkway going past a tree, and fresh-cut grass, and all the and all other park-like things. Words like clean and hygienic. That would suck ass. Like, they, they would be like Kenji, just sitting in the room all the time. And just like, can't go outside. I can't go outside. What? Yeah, they're <laughs> like, they're soundproof forts. The windows closed and the blinds down. Yeah. Can I go again? Huh? Right. Okay. Right. Words that clean and hygienic pop into my mind. It makes me shudder. I shake them off. Open minded now. It's your new life. You have to take it as it is. Uh, take it as it comes. That's what I tell myself. A few big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies. Too big, too many. Cool. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. Uncanny Valley. Even though I was told this is my new school, in the back of my head, it doesn't feel like I wonder if the feeling is real or caused my expectations of school for the disabled. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. I need to be eerie. It makes me wish there was somebody here I could, so, I could, so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having this feeling that I stepped into another dimension. Breeze hung with the wind and the green hues flashing all around me and catch my tin. Takes me a minute about hospitals again. How they say that authoring the rooms are painted green because green is a common color. Why am I feeling so anxious despite all despite, Why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Dot dot dot. Only after I stand in front of the haughty man building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. The last chance I had to turn. I don't know if I could return to. But still, after entering, there was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. Nervous and with this realization set in my head, I opened the front door. All men with a bad All men with a bad posture notices me as I enter. But the only people in the lobby, so it's only logical. Must be a uh, did not Ricky die. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom teacher and science teacher. My name is Mudu, with Muto. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. The head, the head nerd, what? What, 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 You're breaking up. Yeah, I'm here, okay. Yep, yeah, okay. The head nurse asks for, the head nurse asks you for a brief check and you visit, but there's no time for that now. Oh, should I go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. We should get going and, and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the center of attention, but I guess it's inevitable in a situation like this. No, not knowing what is waiting for me makes me feel really nervous. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher's saying. 
You want to? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? Y yes, of course. Yeah, of course. Both. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that that? Because if you choose Y, then you go with the Kenji. And no, you don't want to go with the Kenji. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Of course, but not everyone likes to be the same way. Wait. Yeah, sure. I mean, isn't that... Of course, but not everyone likes to be at the center of attention. Probably one of those people. I guess I should be the one to give the first impression of myself. Right, but it's no problem. Let's go then. Walk, walk, walk. My heart is pounding my chest and it keeps... One second. Alright, hang on, I'm sorry, I had to do something, okay. My heart is pounding my chest, and it keeps me about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. Click. Third door down, the third floor corridor. The third door down, the third door corridor. Do you get any more thirds down there? Huh? Yeah, because that, that, uh, that, that kind of that, oh, that confused me for a second. Third door down, the floor corridor is marked as a cl for class 3 3. Uto opens the door into us. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Hesitate for a split second at the door. It's free on the spot. Ah, get a grip. This is a big step. I know that. There isn't any point to worrying so much about it. Not to this room. Soon. Call the teacher to the classroom and look around. Partially, so I won't have to meet the curious gaze my two. Alright, now. Everybody's looking at the picture, right? Okay, everybody. Okay, now. I will now try to name everybody can. Bottom right is bottom right is, is Mickey. She has only one hand. Um, and then the middle right is Han is Hanako. And then those are, the rest of them are extras. And, and no, pick. Yeah, actually Mickey is or no, M Mika, Mik. I think it is. I, 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 Mickey. It's yeah, it's Mickey. Mickey and Hanako. Ha okay. It's pretty spacious. The ceiling is unusually high, and there's lots of space left over in and in, around in, in between the desks. The entire wall is taken up, is taken up by blackboards, and the high, old-fashioned windows only make it seem larger. The students' de oh, shit. The students' desks are just standard wooden desks with a shelf underneath, for books and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and efficient. I stop walking in front of the classroom and face the other students. They all look normal, like students in any other school. But then, why would they be here? Probably like me and have something wrong with them. Well, it's just not immediately obvious. Then I notice one of the girls seems to be missing the thumb of her right hand. It's a little jarring. Um, hang on, let me go back. Um. Um. I'm going to go with very front and middle. No, wait, no. Hang on, I'm... What? Yeah, I know. Am I back? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. But yeah, I think, I think they're the... Okay. Yeah, it's gonna mess up anyways. Okay. Okay, despite the ten hang on actually I'm gonna battle a little bit for me. Okay. Okay. Now, viewers. The mirrors you're ever gonna get with the girls you're ever gonna get of viewers. Um is the girl in the middle right of the first picture of the first sign we see the and one and the only three girls in the class you're gonna ever get with. Yeah, I can hear you. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, Hanako, um, it's basically her with the, uh, the long blue hair who's back. Yeah, I was covering her eyes, her, like the, the right side of her face. You'll find out later why. Oh, don't tell it why, because that's what was it. And then the pink hair, the, and then, yeah, well, yeah, pink haired one, and then the, sh the blue haired one sitting next to her with the stockings. God damn those stockings. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Despite the natural tendency to listen when someone's talking about you, I tune out the teacher's speech halfway through while he introduces me to class. I notice a flash of dark hair that, that and see that someone is looking at me. I'll grow with really long, straight hair that is pretty eye catch. He's looking back at her. She covers her face with her hands, as if it will make her invisible. Dark hair. That might be Hanako. Yeah. There's one boy with a cane leaning against the lockers to the rear of the class. It's weird seeing someone so young with a cane. Another girl seems to be making weird hand motions. Sign language? She peers over the rims of the glasses. That's pink hair and the girl next to her. The, the, the one next to the pink hair is deaf. Okay. Is, is possibly bipolar. Is possibly bipolar. Not actually, but like, acts like it. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay. She peers at me over her glasses and goes back to whatever she's doing. That's cute. So, the, so is the cheery-eyed girl with the... Really? Really? Come on. Just, whatever. Okay. She's kind of cute. So, so is a cheery-looking girl with the pink hair sitting next to her. Really hard to miss. I don't know how I didn't notice her the moment I walked in. Dot, dot, dot. Please welcome our newest classmates. Claps his hands, so does everyone else, except one girl in the first row who has only one hand. Oh, Mickey. Whatever the fuck her name is. I cringe a little, but hide it by bowing with thanks for the applause I did not deserve. Uh, yeah, but in the beginning of this, he's like, like, God damn, my, I'm shit. No, I don't, I don't deserve anything. I'm, I'm so emo. He, he's like emo in the beginning, but he gets better. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. okay. Yeah. A collective silence told me, tells me that I should open my mouth now. So, uh, I'm Hisao Nakai. After that, my hobbies are reading and soccer. I hope to get along well with everyone, even though I'm a new student. After that, I'm so boring. This is exactly like every self-introduction ever. I should say something more. Something more exciting. I end up saying nothing, and the teacher picks up from there. Everyone's satisfied, even with what little I said. But though, a few girls are whispering to each other, throwing glances at me. It could have gone worse. Dot dot dot. I listen to the teacher as he drones about getting along while letting my gaze sweep across the classroom. Everyone seems to be listening to him intently. And... Yeah. And when he's done, they clap their hands again, which feels like a weird thing to do. The first row girl claps on this round with her one hand on the other wrist that ends in a bandage stunt. Ah, oh, That would look so just... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, sh yeah, ah, uh, okay, it makes me feel a little bad, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some group work today, so that'll give you a chance to talk with everyone, is that okay with you? Yeah, it's fine with me, that's good for you, you can work with Hakamichi, she's the representative. You can explain any anything you might want to know, and who else will be able to do the, the, the better, that better, right? How could I know? The teacher passes out the day's assignments and announces that we will be working in groups of three. This means that I don't know who Hakamichi is. Hello. The teacher seems to catch my help this expression. Oh, right. Hakamichi is right there. Shizun Hakamichi. Or Shizune, however you want to pronounce it. Think care. As she- No, shut up! You just- God! As he calls out her name, the cute, bubbly girl looking with bright pink hair and gold eyes waves over to me. I take a seat next to her by the window. Hey, I guess you're Akimichi, right? It's nice to meet you. You see, I, I never really noticed her eyes. Eyes, if you catch my drift. Hey, I guess you're Akimichi, right? It's nice to see you. Ha ha ha. What? I'm caught up. No, sorry. What? I'm caught off guard. Laughter. It's nice to meet you too, but I'm not Hakamichi. I'm Misha. This is Takamichi. Shishan! Eagly, Misha points at the girl next to her. 
the one I saw using Sondling before. Looks like she has been staring at me this whole time. Nods once nonchalantly to show that she acknowledges my presence, but only barely. She has short yet carefully neatly brushed hair, a pair of oval shaped glasses balanced on the tip of a dainty nose, that nose, and dark blue eyes that seem to alter every few seconds between analytical or analytical, slightly bored. It's nice to meet you. Dots on top. Fine. He immediately looks at Misha, who smiles and makes a few quick gestures with her hands. Akimichi nods and, and makes gestures of her own. Gestures, whatever. I start to wonder if the teacher was messing with me, saying things like, You'll be able to talk to people. <laughs> and who better to explain this than you? <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah. I love Muso. I love Muso so much. He's awesome. He's the, he's the science teacher, and that's my favorite subject. Alright. I like science. I can see you. Yeah. I can see you're a little confused, right? Right? But I can. Uh, but I understand why. Why you would think I was Shichan. Shichan is deaf, so I'm the person who translates things back and forth for her. I'm like an interpreter. She says it's nice to meet you too. Dot dot dot. You're the new student, aren't you? Well, Shichan, of course he. If he wasn't, he would have been standing. The, he would have been standing up there for no reason, right? Right. Seems like a very interesting person, doesn't he? We knew there was going to be a new student. Alright, 